you're listening to the Telltale Channel. Don't forget to check me out on all social media, Patreon, Twitter, Teespring, and Etsy. All links can be found in the description or on my website, telltaleatheist.com. The next article I wanted to take a look at is entitled William Barr, or Bill Barr, who's the Attorney General. There's a militant secular effort to suppress religion. This is by the Friendly Atheist blog. It was written by Hemant Mehta. So let's give this a read and see what it has to say. During an interview with New York's Cardinal Timothy Dolan yesterday, Attorney General William Barr did what he does best, lie. He claimed that there was a militant secular effort to suppress religion, despite failing to define whatever militant secularism means. The problem today is not that religious people are trying to impose their views on non-religious people, Barr told Dolan on his Sirius XM radio show Conversation with Cardinal Dolan. It's the opposite. It's that militant secularists are trying to impose their values on religious people, and they're not accommodating the freedom of religion of people of all faith. We believe in the separation of church and state, Barr stated, but what permits a limited government and minimal command and control of the population and allows people to have freedom of choice in their lives and trust in the people is the fact that they are people that are capable of disciplining themselves according to moral values. Okay, what an extremely confusing mess of words that he just spewed out. The hypocrisy is obvious here, says Hemant Mehta. Secular people are fighting for government neutrality on matters of religion. Most of us don't want the government interfering in our private decision, certainly not when they involve our bodies or beliefs. Barr and his fellow Republicans want government preference for one faith. They want to push their conservative Christian beliefs onto everyone else. They want to block women from obtaining abortions. They want to block LGBTQ people from having civil rights. They want to punish non-Christian immigrants and refugees, etc. None of that is separation of church and state. That's a theocracy under a different name. 100% agree with Hemant Mehta here. Barr also claimed in another part of the interview that atheists were trying to drive religion out of public life. No atheist organization or prominent individual has said religious people should be punished for their beliefs. No one's fighting to shut down churches. Trying to persuade people to think like you isn't a crime, and everyone does that. It's scary that the top lawyer in the country doesn't have a basic understanding of the law. But that's also the only reason Donald Trump appointed him. A competent lawyer wouldn't say any of this. It takes a conservative Christian like Barr to be this ignorant. I don't think it's ignorance. I think he knows. I think he is well aware of what's happening and and what's going on around him. And I think he just wants it to be this way. I think he is aware that we're not trying to force people to be non-religious. We're not trying to force atheism down people's throats. You can feel free to sit in school and pray all you want, but you can't force me to pray with you. That is a violation of rights. Compelling somebody to do something or or imposing your ideas or beliefs on other people is not a right. I have the right to be free from religion. And they just don't seem to understand that. Or maybe they do understand that and they just don't care. I think if there was a concerted effort to force Muslim prayer into school five times a day with prayer rugs saying it to Allah and everything replace every instance of the word God with the word Allah even though it's the same God you know in the Pledge of Allegiance and everything else in school and people would lose their shit they would realize how fucked up it is to force this stuff down people's throats how wrong it is to force people to adhere to your lifestyle choices like it's straight up wrong for you to try to cram your religion down my throat and it's wrong for my tax dollars to fund you doing that to children i don't want my tax dollars paying for a pa system in a school that's going to be used to transmit uh muslim prayers to allah day in and day out just like you don't And I also don't want my money going toward a PA system that is used to say Christian prayers. If a kid wants to sit there and say a prayer silently to himself, I have no issue with that. That's never been banned and it never will be. 
But that's not what they want. They want the school district to sponsor the prayers. And this whole bit about a militant secular effort to suppress religion, this is outrageous. What's militant about it? I, I'm not really understanding. Militant, what, you know what? Let's just look this up. Let's get a Google definition here. Combative and aggressive in support of a political or social cause and typically favoring extreme, violent, or confrontational methods. That doesn't describe my position at all. I, I have always been against violence. Actually, I've been against confrontational methods too. I'm against extremism. I'm against aggressiveness or combativeness. I just want you to stop forcing your religion down my throat and my kid's throat. That's all I want. Is that that difficult? Like, I don't understand why people are having such a hard time with this. Like, the state of Alabama, like every other week, has a story of a school praying over the PA system. What is this? This is blowing my mind.